mid-table affair at Stoke Gifford. Bristol Academy playing host to Man City, with home fans hoping for similar entertainment to the last outing here, if not a similar result. Bristol lost 4-3 to Arsenal. City threatened first, and fairly route one it was too. Nice ball from Tasha Flint to find Isabel Christensen. The save was a fairly comfy one for Mary Earps in the end. Her next stop, however, was far better, and it needed to be. Bristol had given away possession, allowing the Everton connection to combine. Tony Duggan to Jill Scott. What a top save that was. And an important one in the context of the half, because with just a minute to go until the interval, Bristol took the lead. Natalia allowed to run and cross and pick out Corin Yorston. 1-0 to the Vixens. And they almost made it two after the break. Nicky Watts had scored one of Bristol's three goals in the aforementioned loss to Arsenal here last time out. What a fine effort this was. It certainly had Karen Bardsley scrambling. Up next, the standout move of the game. It came from City with another brilliant piece of keeping at the end of it. Duggan to Christensen to Scott and back to Duggan. Fabulous play all round, not least from Earps, whose strong hand preserved the home side's lead. They might have added to it from this short corner. City dozed off for a moment and it could have cost them. Nicky Watts with the cross. Jasmine Matthews with the loopy header. 1-0 it stayed. But only because of more fantastic keeping this time from Karen Barsley in the City goal. Laura Del Rio's gone four months without a goal. She must have thought she was about to break that drought here. Stunning stuff all round and the last serious action of the match. Bristol's two-game losing streak ends and so does City's two-game winning streak. 1-0 the final score.